Anyone on any lot journey is going to tell you not to over manipulate your hair. What is up flockers? That is my fellow lockers and aspiring lockers. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of retwisting your locks. So stay tuned. Let's go ahead and jump into that list. And any of you who know me know that I like to start with the cons first and then end on a high note. So the first con of retwisting your locks is that it does not last long. Of course, everything is relative and depending on the person, their lifestyle, their amount of activeness and the elements and environment that they are in all play a factor into how long a retwist is going to last. But typically on my previous lock journeys when I had traditional locks and I retwisted them, I could get a retwist to last me for about a week, week and a half maximum. And that's if I was not doing any type of working out or anything like that. On a bad retwist, then maybe I would get it to last for a few days before it started unraveling and getting fuzzy, but that's when I was super active and sweating a lot. My scalp sweats. I sweat a lot when I work out and exercise, so that's just part of the nature. If you're going to retwist your locks, you just need to be aware that unraveling at the root is a problem when it comes to retwisting. And unfortunately, if you get caught in the rain or something like that, that can also mess up your retwist. You know, we talk about hair freedom and whatnot as far as being locked. When you retwist, the rain can kind of dictate, it can kind of dictate whether or not you feel comfortable running out from a store to your car with your locks uh, or going outside if the weather doesn't permit or even going swimming and getting into a pool because all of those things will mess up your locks and your, sorry, not mess up your locks, they will mess up your retwist. Now, if you are lucky enough to have long enough locks that you can pull back in a ponytail, then the tension from the ponytail can keep the locks and the retwist fresh for longer. So whether you're exercising, swimming, or caught in the rain, if your locks are pulled and they are taut, then of course they're not going to unravel at the root as easily, but it's still a problem that you need to be aware of when it comes to retwisting. Con number two with retwisting your locks, not everybody uses a gel, but if you want your locks to stay fresh as long as possible, then most times out of not, you're going to have to use some type of gel or a mousse or something that has hold to it that's going to hold in your retwist. Now, my previous lock journeys, when I would retwist my locks, I did not use any type of gel or anything. I simply used water for my retwist, wash my hair, retwist, and clip it so that it would dry to set. But again, those retwists did not last as long as the retwist when I had gel in my hair. So that's just something to keep in mind. And with gel and anything else, it can cause buildup. Now there are gonna be plenty of people that probably won't have any sort of buildup or issues with the gel, uh, especially if it's got a lot of water in it, water base. But nonetheless, you're adding something to your hair. So if you're the type of person that doesn't wanna put a bunch of stuff in your locks, don't want buildup, then having to put gel in your hair to make the style last longer or make the retwist last longer is definitely a con. Con number three to retwisting is that it can cause you to over manipulate your hair. Sometimes, you know, you want that fresh look, you want your locks to look nice, whether you're going out to an event or you're not even going anywhere, but you just like your locks to look manicured and nice. Well, because the style, or sorry, because the retwist isn't lasting as long and you have to do it more often, you're obviously having to manipulate your locks more often. Depending on how often you're manipulating your locks into what magnitude, that can cause thinning of your locks or it could lead to hair loss if you're doing it too tight. Anyone on any lock journey is going to tell you not to over, manip not to over manipulate your hair, not to make it too tight, regardless of whether you're retwisting or retying, making it too tight is definitely a con and it can completely mess up your, your scalp, your hair follicles, the thickness of your hair. So please be careful with that and keep that in mind. That is definitely a con when it comes to retwisting, that it is quite easy to over twist and over manipulate your hair if you're not careful and you're not experienced with what you're doing. And the fourth con on the list is the fact that, especially when you have shorter locks, you are having to sit and wait for your hair to dry and set when you have clips in it. I don't know how many times I went to retwist my hair at night and because I wasn't trying to use direct heat from a blow dryer on it, I would have to let it sit overnight and I had to sleep with the clips in and 
Y'all who have been watching my channel know that I cannot sleep with a style or with clips or flexi rods or anything like that in my hair because it causes headaches and it's just not comfortable for me. So that is a huge con for me to have to stay with clips in your hair, whether it's for a couple of hours while your hair dries or overnight or however long it is that it takes for your hair to air dry or be blow drying, blow drying, blow dried. Oh, and then don't even get me started on when you try to blow dry your hair <laughs> with those clips in. Boy, if those clips anywhere are touching your scalp or you have a clip touching your ear or your neck, those mugs heat up with blow dryers. I don't know how many times I burnt my ears or burnt my neck or part of my scalp because I was blow drying it and there was a clip that was sitting on my scalp, the little prongs that I didn't realize and it burnt the mess out of me. So that is a huge con having to sit with metal clips in your hair, whether it is a matter of waiting for them to dry or trying to sleep on them or those things being Satan on your scalp. All right, enough of the cons, on to the pros. The first pro on my list is that retwisting is so much faster than interlocking. And speaking from someone who has both retwisted my locks in the past with other lock journeys and someone who is now currently interlocking, retwisting is worlds faster. Especially if you have thicker traditional locks, you're able to get through that quickly. I think with one set of locks, I was down to about an hour with my retwist in terms of start to finish and getting them done. With interlocking, it's gonna take a lot longer for those things to be done. It takes me a few hours over a couple of days to do my hair now. So it is a huge pro when it comes to retwisting that it is a very quick maintenance process. Even if you have a bunch of little locks, I mean, I've never tried it and I don't intend to ever try it, but I could probably get through my head within a matter of hours as opposed to a matter of days when it comes to retwisting these as opposed to interlocking. Pro number two is that there is something about retwisting and don't hear me wrong because I love my interlocking right now, but there is something about the look when it comes to a retwist, a fresh retwist, there's just nothing like it. Now a fresh interlocking session, yes, it looks good. You all snatched up, you know, great. All that's great. But there's just something about a retwist, the way that the hair is flowing and direct. I don't know. It's those of you that know, know, but there's just a clean look to it. It looks polished, manicured. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. So that is definitely a pro of retwisting is the clean, pristine look to it. And the number three pro, which is kind of piggybacking off the last one and the aesthetic look of it, is that your locks tend to be a lot more cylindrical. Now with interlocking, you have an interlock pattern, so your locks can be a bit bumpier depending on, especially if they're thicker, you, it's more noticeable. But when you're palm rolling and you're retwisting, your locks are formed in a much more cylindrical, flat kind of way. So for those who want that neat, cylindrical, smooth look to their locks, retwisting is definitely probably the way that you should go for that, and it's a huge pro. The number four reason or pro for why you should retwist is that it is a simple maintenance method that you can do on your own. Now, whether you choose to go to a loctician or not, that's a whole different story. It's a lot easier to maintain your 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 own hair when you're retwisting it as opposed to interlocking. Is interlocking impossible? No. Is interlocking super difficult? To each their own. You have to ask each person individually. I don't find it very difficult, but it definitely took practice in the beginning. And I can't, you know, walk and chew gum at the same time when it comes to interlocking. I've tried to come on here and talk and make videos while I'm doing it, and I get so messed up. But with retwisting, you're not having to worry about messing up. You know, it's kind of hard to, if you know what direction your hair that you're twisting in, it's kind of hard to mess that up unless, you know, you get to a part of your head and you're like, wait, I'm in the back. So is it this way or is it that way? But other than that, it's super simple. It's not a difficult thing to do to go in and retwist your hair, whether you're palm rolling or whether you're, you know, it's just a very simple method that you can either have someone do for you or you can do for yourself. So if you ever get into a pinch and you can't make it to your loctician, it's a huge pro that you are able to maintain it and do it yourself quickly and efficiently. And the fifth pro on the list, and it is a huge pro, everyone will tell you, regardless of what your maintenance style is, when it comes to over manipulating and making things too tight, you don't wanna make your reties or your retwist too tight. But the pro with retwisting your locks is that 
you can easily undo it. Your lock isn't stuck in place. Even if you use a gel, you can simply take a water bottle and spray it or you know, rinse your hair in that section with some water or just unravel the, the twist even after it's set so to loosen it up. Whereas with when you're interlocking, if you go through and accidentally tighten it one too many times, maybe there's a way to get it out, but I can't because the few times that I have made it too tight to my scalp, there was no going back through the hole because it was already too tight. There was no undoing it. It was just weight and pain where you got them little uh, raised uh, uh, follicles or whatever they're called, the raised scalp bumps on your scalp while you have to wait for your hair to grow out. And that was just it. Each time I did it, I probably had to wait about a week to stop feeling pain and discomfort wherever in those locks that I tightened too tight. But it's a huge pro that when you retwist, that's not something that you have to deal with because you can easily undo that. If you've done something too tight and you're like, man, this lock is feeling a little too tight and there's too much pressure there, simply undo it, unravel it, and redo it back. Not a big deal. I hope that you have learned something new and that you find this content enjoyable and valuable. And if you did, please make sure to go ahead and hit that like button for me so that I know what type of content that you're enjoying. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button so you join the flock today. While you're here, stick around and watch some other videos that have popped up on the screen. I can't wait to see you over there.